Now, President Joe Biden released a statement after last night's vote saying neither side got everything it wanted, but he called the agreement good news for the American people and urged the Senate to pass the bill so that he can put his signature on it. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, President Joe Biden was in Colorado Springs, Colorado today, giving the commencement speech at the Air Force Academy. That's where he watched the House votes come in as well. And he also mentioned in that statement you referred to, the only path forward is a bipartisan compromise that can earn the support of both parties. Graduates, you've made a noble choice to lead a life of service. At the U.S. Air Force Academy, President Joe Biden also tells cadets in the graduating class of 2023. And this day is the day to celebrate. And as your commander in chief, I'm honored to be here as you take on the duties of serving and defending our nation. And as they embark on their new journey, the list of threats facing America long and growing. We're seeing proliferating global challenges from Russia's aggression and brutality in Europe to our competition with China and a whole hell of a lot in between. Meanwhile, Sudan fighting between warring sides, a shaky ceasefire, hundreds killed. At least 60 children perished over the past six weeks while trapped in harrowing conditions in an orphanage in Sudan's capital as fighting raged outside. The White House announces sanctions targeting those who are perpetuating the violence. Also overseas, the King and Queen of Jordan welcome First Lady Jill Biden to their son's royal wedding. Crown Prince Hussein married Wajo Al Saif, who was born in Saudi Arabia and attended college in the U.S. And in the race for the White House, former Vice President Mike Pence is reportedly going to make his announcement next week. While former President Donald Trump appeals to faith leaders on the campaign trail in Iowa, and earlier, a group of conservatives. Make you America should. great again. That's a very simple, uh, very simple statement, but uh, we'll do it fast, too. We, we don't need eight time. years. Okay, <laughs> we, we, need, we need five months. Now, back to the president's speech in Colorado today. After he handed out diplomas to graduates, he tripped and fell on stage. An Air Force officer, as well as two Secret Service members, helped the president to his feet. And tonight, the White House communications director tweeted that the president is fine. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.